welcome back to another video so today i am filming a story time video for you i'm actually really excited to do this because i personally like watching story time so just thought i would do one if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new make sure to subscribe we are on the road to 200 subscribers and i'd like you to stick around so yes so if any Without any further ado, let's get on with the story time. Okay, so my story time is obviously about my car crash that I had, if you haven't guessed already by the title. So I'll give you the quick lowdown of my car, I guess. So I had a red Fiat 500, and if I can find a picture, I'll try and set it here, but I'm not very good with all the technical stuff, so if I don't, then don't judge. So yeah, I had a red Fiat 500, that was my first car, and I passed my test in March 2018, I think, or it might be 17, no, 18, 2018, um, and then I crashed in the September, so it was, I would have been driving a few months already. So yeah, so I'll explain the whole story to you all now. So it was actually my friend's birthday on this day and I was going to give her her birthday present, as you do, because whatever. She literally lives like 10 minutes away from me, so I was just driving there. And I got there fine, I gave her a present, it was all good, all fine. And then on the way back, I was driving home and basically you can go down, I think it's called an A road, so here it's called the A10. I was driving down the A road to get back home yeah weirdly i kind of turned into a bit of a witch so i was driving way on my way home and i was thinking oh i haven't had a crash for like yet so i'm actually quite proud of myself obviously i spoke a bit too soon because literally like five minutes later the crash happened so yeah nice one basically i'm a witch so i come i'm coming off at my turn in where i live and when you get off the A10, you're, there is a roundabout. I don't know why I'm doing the actions, but there's a roundabout. And obviously I got to the give way lines and I was stopping to see if there was any cars coming around. And obviously there was a car coming around, so you know, I stopped. And then, yeah, so then the car was just coming round. Anyway, so as the car's like going round, I'm like getting ready to go. But I was still stopped. Like, you know what you're just about? Just about to put your foot on the clutch. Um, and the car behind me just didn't stop. I think they just assumed that I was going to keep going. But I was actually, like, completely stationary. I was just getting ready to start going. And the car behind me just didn't stop at all. They, In fact, they was still coming up off the A10. So it wasn't like they were stopped and then went into me because they thought I was going. They just didn't stop at all. And they just went into the back of my car. Um, it's probably like I reckon it must have been about like maybe like 20 miles an hour they hit me out maybe 15 I don't know it wasn't like majorly of like a major strong impact but yeah but anyway so I was so confused because obviously I had like flung forward and I don't know if you know but in Fiat 500s their glove box it's actually like open like they haven't got like a door if that makes any sense so when they hit me I'd flung forward and obviously flung back and the stuff in my like glove box was all flight like flew like flew flew flied out and i was so confused because i thought because i was getting ready to go i thought have i stalled like i didn't know if i just stalled really badly and i was just really confused and then i looked up in my mirror and basically realized that the car behind me was basically in my back seat and i was like oh hi so yeah um that happened and then I was like oh my god what do I do so obviously like I just pulled over out of the way so everybody else could like drive past Um, I pulled up on the roundabout and I just looked at my car and I remember thinking oh my god it looks like a sandwich like it just looked like, it looked like the back was just squished I was just I just looked at it and started crying I was like my car because I loved Lola I think because it's your first car I think you get quite attached so I was a bit attached, can't lie. I was so upset, I was literally hysterically crying. I was like, oh my God, I was like, you've hit my car. And then he was like, are you okay? I was like, yeah, but you've hit my car and I'm so upset. And he was like, oh, like, I'm so, so sorry. 
he was like i'm just gonna quickly go check because my kids are in the back and i was like oh my god we've got kids so then i started crying more but they literally just had a baby like two days ago so i think they must have been tired like the whole family was in the car it was like the dad the mum and their two little kids so i think they must have just been tired they just had a newborn baby so it's, that's understandable i guess obviously you shouldn't have a car but you know what it is what it is we're all human we all make mistakes anyway so i rung my dad because i know you've got to take details down of what's happened and stuff but i didn't actually physically know what i've got to do because never experienced it before so i rung my dad and um i was like dad like, i just had a car crash but i'm fine and he was like oh my god and then i was like, i'm fine i'm fine i'm fine but what do i have to do he was like obviously you'll get their number plate registration phone number and their address so i was like okay anyway when i was calling my dad my dad was actually trying to save a dog from because this random dog had come out of its house and it was just basically there was this missing dog and my dad was trying to catch the dog because it was gonna go like obviously elsewhere so my dad was trying to rescue this random dog that he'd found in the street and he had me crying on the phone to him asking me what to do so bless him he must have been like what's on earth anyway so that was that so i got the phone to my dad i was like i'm fine i'm fine like you sort the dog out i'm fine he was like all right, all right. so that happened and then we just exchanged details and stuff like that and then i had to drive my car home and yeah and i was just so upset i remember i cried for the rest of the day i was like oh my god my car it wasn't too bad and um, my car did end up actually getting written off because basically my car would have needed a new back door a new bumper um, I think there was something else but if the picture's on the screen you'll be able to see why so you'll have to replace all that and then spray paint the whole car again because obviously if you just spray paint the back it'll be a different colour to the front I don't know if that makes any sense but yeah so for the cost of what it would have done to fix the car and get it back to its normal like state it would have cost more than what the car was actually worth so that's why the insurance company decided to write it off literally got taped taken took away like a couple of days later so my car got taken away and that was it i never saw lola again i then went and got another fiat 500 after that i'll give you like another little story time of this i then went and got another fiat 500 i got a mint green fiat 500 which i absolutely hated i got it out of a rush because i needed a car because i was only allowed my courtesy car for one week yeah so i went and got a mint green fiat 500 which i just hated I remember I took my friend home and it just made this weird noise. Like, it just kept making noises. I don't know if it was in my head, but it kept making so many bad, like, weird noises. So I was like, I just don't want this car. So I ended up selling that literally, like, a month after having it. Maybe two months. And then I got my car that I've got now, which is my Polo Pedro. That's his name. So that's the end of my story time. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys um would like to see more types of story time videos then please let me know in the comments down below anyways i hope you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure you give it a thumbs up and i will see you all soon with another video thank you bye